to Timor-Leste, one of the world's last undiscovered destinations. Pristine, spectacular and an adventure traveller's paradise. Part of the Coral Triangle, Timor-Leste boasts some of the most gorgeous waterways, beaches and reefs in Asia. So I just couldn't wait to get out onto the ocean. So do you want me just to maintain this heading? If you're a yachty and you know who you are, you are going to love sailing on Dili Harbour. It's picturesque, you can see the entire coastline. And the best bit is, we've got the ocean all to ourselves. So as requested, we've just spotted whales. this a few times before and I never quite get over the sense of privilege that we can be on this boat, in this sea, surrounded by this landscape. There's lots and lots of different ways of uh, going to sea here. You can do everything from renting a local canoe all the way up to chartering a, a yacht like this. It's so accessible. Look at that. Sailing on a yacht in Dili Harbour, so good. While we relax, these waterways also offer up a challenge for the more serious sailor. Step it up a notch and compete in the biennial Darwin to Dili Yacht Rally. My favourite part of Timor Leste is the waterway. I just can't get over it every day. Uh, we try and get out and have a look and see what's new and chase dolphins and whales. and It's just a very exciting place. All the way along the channel here on the north coast, uh, it, it fluctuates between about a kilometre depth to three kilometres. So it's an underwater super highway. I've seen people catch black marlin 50 metres from the beach in Dili. Now tell me, where else in the world can you do that? If you're a keen fisherman, Timor Leste is the place to come with an abundance of big fish. You name it and they're swimming here. Wahoo, tuna, marlin, sailfish. So I'm going to throw a line in and check my luck. At least I'm in the hands of the experts at Compass Charters. Rob's teaching me everything I need to know. Beginner's luck, if I can catch a fish here, you most definitely can. That's lunch in the esky. <laughs> nice work, thanks Rob. <laughs> I'm sure that if I spent the dedicated amount of time and came out here like the locals and sourced the spot, I'd probably find that there are some amazingly big fish to be caught. Maybe we'll try our luck tomorrow. Still hungry for the adventure, we headed up the coast, the easternmost tip of the country where we had heard that the fish were always biting. When you think of paradise, this is what you picture. White sand beaches, azure seas, palm trees and blue skies. Welcome to Jacko Island where everywhere you look, it's just another postcard. We used hand lines, I used to go fishing and you still can today, go fishing with the locals and you can be 10 metres off the shore and be smashed by the most biggest pelagic fish uh, that you've ever seen in your life with the hand line. So it is exciting and it is out of this world. I might not have had so much big fish beginner luck, but hey, at least I caught something. So, fishing expedition this morning at Jacko is successful. And apparently, even though that would be a very big fish in Sydney, in Australia, for us, I'd be proud of that. It is a guppy here. I might go wash up. The locals, however, using mostly just basic hand lines, show you that there is an abundance of different types of fish to be caught and plenty of big fish in the sea. And if you're a really keen angler, why not compete with the local experts and show off your prowess on the international stage and enter into the Com Fishing Festival, a five-day game fishing tournament held at one of the most picturesque beaches in the country with a prize pool of $25,000. The waterways have something for everyone, so make sure you spend at least a few days, if not a few weeks, exploring them. Inspired? Why not book your own trip to Timor-Leste today? Flights depart daily from major capital cities, connecting to Dili through Darwin, Denpasar and Singapore.
Do more, see more and experience more in Timor.